Rudy, are you actually ever going to open regular booster boxes of Throne? Or you just think you're like all this super special, ridiculous guy who only opens collector's boxes? All right, fine. Calm down. All right, we're setting it up with the patrons. We're going to get ourselves a normal 30 box run going. So this is my very first Throne of Eldraine regular booster box opening. No joke, everybody. So literally, Jesse from Jesse Cracks Packs on his own YouTube channel. You guys can... Uh, Click on his channel below and go to his channel and press F in his chat if he gets completely crushed to let him know we respect your sacrifice, sir. So, um, like I said, I actually have never... <laughs> I know, it's December, everybody. Everyone's like, um, Rudy? Um, excuse me, sir? Uh, creeper, guy without the haircut? Um, hey! Okay. Uh, apparently, yeah, Rudy, uh... Oh, wait. These are Japanese-style packs. Wait a minute. Oh, they have a pull tab. Do all of them have pull tabs? Wow, it's pretty bad when it's December. I haven't even opened any throne boxes, and I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, uh, oh, they're they're packaged backwards. Okay, Gargoyle for the first one here. So, I have never opened... <laughs> I know, it's been over 30 days since release. No, I'm sorry, 60 days since release, and I'm opening my very first box opening of the regular. Witchin' Well, foil, regular, and Rid of the Dwarf! There he is. Arr. You'll think this is a game, kiddo. Come on down to the basement. I'll show you a game. So here we are, everybody. Uh, I am not even sure, because people have asked me so many questions about... So, God, I do I do love those adventure tokens, though. Those are pretty cool. Um, happily ever after. I don't really know how the pool rates work with the specialty cards in a regular packs. I don't know if they're all possible to get, or some of them... Oh! Whoa! Okay. Well, I guess that answers my question. Uh, foil Rare Showcase Super Crazy, so you can get all the same cards in the box. Holy crap! Okay, that is a phenomenal hit! That card was $50 to $100. Even if it's a half, even if it's like 20 bucks, that's a in Cauldron of Eternity. Alright, our first Mythic. Very, very nice, everybody. You guys notice how much the cards are sliding? That is a textbook, uh, the Japanese printers. These are the very fancy, glossy style cards, so that you, can, you can see them sliding when I put them down real easily. Tactician is our, and of course, Star Wars Queen. So it feel, doesn't feel much different than the, the Throne Collector's boxes. Obviously, the, the pool rates are obviously not as uh, amped up. And our foil planes, and we got the old Star Wars lightsaber champion. Very nice. It's actually a pretty good card for a one-drop. I'll be honest with everybody. That's I'm surprised it's not really a... Surprised it's not really a bulk card. It should be worth a little bit more. Witch's Vengeance for the rare there. Wow, so I'm very surprised about that Showcase Fey of Wishes. So is that in addition to your foil rare? Or does that take the place of the foil rare? Escape to the Wilds and Rudy's hairy dwarf-like face. So like I said, that's, that's what I really want to learn today. God, I do love those adventure tokens. Those are just so neat looking. Aren't those cool looking, everybody? I mean, I just think that's really neat. I don't know. I know I'm like late to the party. Troll King. So, but like I said, I wanted to at least get these going. I was so backed up on the box opening videos, everybody. Oh, there's... I didn't even know they were advertising showcase cards. Wow, okay. I wasn't even... Didn't even realize that was a thing. I thought they stopped the... Oh, wow. See, this feels like a really good box. Fabled flipping Passage, everybody. This feels like a really strong... And again, this is the first one. I don't know if this is deemed normal. But it feels really good. Bang for the bucks. Alright, nice little Star Wars action there. Castle. Lockwin. Um, that's like some, it's kind of a weird experience after only... Wow! Royal Scions. And... Uh, okay, wait, that's not... I thought that was a showcase rare. So, Royal Scions. Mythic number two. Holy smokes. That is phenomenal. Okay. Um, interesting. Alright. Acclaim Contender for the rare. So, in the common slot, is it possible to get showcase cards? Should I be looking? Piper of the Swarm. Like I said, I didn't know if I should be, should I be looking for the commons? And I'm not really sure how that works. Obviously, I'll, I'll figure it out. But again, being my first one, I just want to kind of want to experiment with everybody. And I guess, Jesse, so far, we're not really going to be making fun of you. And we're not really going to be going to your channel just to pay respect to your losses. Because, holy smokes. You only paid seventy nine dollars for the booster, but okay, another showcase rare. So is it easier even in a regular box? You get multiple showcase rares, or the foil? Wait, that was a foil rare. 
Okay. Wow, that's really impressive. That seems really good, Wicked Wolf. So, like I said, I don't have any data to go by. Like I said, we're going to be opening about 70 to 80 booster boxes over the next uh, 30, 60 days. And a brazen... Oh, it's a foil mythic! Holy smokes! Mythic foil brazen! Wow! That is really good! Like I said, I don't know if this is just beginner's luck, Castle Ardenvale, and we're just getting a phenomenal pull rate right now. Jesse, I don't know if everyone's freaking out in the comment, like, Rudy opens his first one and just completely wrecks the system, and he has no idea. And that very well could be the case. That very well could be the case. Like, come in and see the Bobs on a Sunday morning. And Rudy the Gingerbread Man, and of course, the Clackety Bridge Troll. A lot of, a lot of uh, foils. I, I forgot, this is post-Core 20, so we do have the foil pull rate, Sundering Stroke, increase. So again, um, you will notice a little bit higher ratio of pulls for the, uh, the foils moving forward. I always forget that. So, like I said, I bounce around from so many box openings, sometimes I kind of lose track of the timetable and what's what. Murderous Rider, fantastic rare there. That's interesting. So you can get... All the showcase cards. So that's what a lot of people were talking. I thought it meant like you possibly can get one. I didn't realize you could still get the showcase rares. Oops. Whoa, these cards are slick. I guess the, the Japanese printer there, man, these things are really slippery. I know, I know. That's what she said, giggity. I know, I know. Giant killer. So, interesting. So I, this may be a beginner's luck box, and not all boxes are this kind of aggressive. Gilded Goose. So we literally got Gilded Goose. We got literally Fabled Passage. Flippin' Foil Showcase Fae of Wishes, right? Wouldn't we get a Fae? Yeah, Fae of Wishes. Absolutely phenomenal. And, of course, Stormfist Crusader. So what an absolutely home-run box for 80 bucks, man. Holy crap. Shameless Rudy play. And another great henge, Mythic number 3. Oh yeah, and we got that foil mythic, didn't we? Did I put that over there? The uh, didn't I? Yeah, right here, right? Yeah, brazen. Wow, foil mythic, brazen borrower. Holy smokes, what a hit! That's fantastic. Holy crap! So I gotta admit, I hope, I, I wish all the box. I have a funny feeling. Midnight clock, very nice. I wish all the boxes were um were like this, were the uh, Japanese style cards in the front type thing, and Rider. And a Charming Prince. Alright. There we go. And Magic Mirror. Mythic number four. Okay, is this like a really good just beginner's luck? Because this feels like a home run box. And the old Doom Foretold. So you can still get a right. You can get a few little just alternate frame on the common uncommon it looks like. But it looks like you can, I don't know if you can get the foil versions where the real money is. I'm not really sure. And a Castle Vantress. So we've gotten what? Four of the specialty lands? Alright, so box one here wrapped it up just now. Jesse, that seems like a really strong box. I guess I don't have any uh, data, as I always say. I don't really go through the values too much at the beginning. So I like to kind of get a feel for everything. But that seems really phenomenal. Wow. Okay, boy, you were quick to the old uh, payment on the signups there for the box opening. Wow. Holy crap, that's crazy. Okay, so purple packs. Gorgeous purple packs, by the way. I actually like these regular packs. I like the way they look better than I do the actual collector's packs. I think the quality and the way they look, that nice purple color, I, I just think it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous packs. All right, Bone Crusher Giant, pack one. Here we go. All right, and here we go. And we got Thrill of Possibility and an Emery. We did not get an Emery in the first box. Okay. So... Actually, I gotta check real quick. How many how many foils did we get? Wow, really? Garuk the Mythic coming through already? Holy crap! All right, hold on. I want to I want to count. I know we had one foil already in box two, but I just want to check something real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So twelve, exactly one in three packs. So does that does that actually match the stated ratio on the packs? I think so. And we got the old Stone Coil Serpent. Phenomenal, everybody. Absolutely phenomenal pull rates. And Castle Ganbrig. Very nice, everybody. Woo! God, I like these Japanese-style packs. Epic, man. And a gorgeous-looking Griffin and the dancing in my pants. Very nice. Overall, I don't know. Pretty impressive. Feels like the... I, I guess like, I'm definitely going to understand over the next few videos because just based on my opinion on this first box opening... It really does feel like the 
I'm paying $80 a box. And that was funny. That was a GS notice that. That was funny. Nice little duplicate there. And of course, Star Wars Queen always showing off her fancy outfit. It definitely feels like paying $80 a box, the yield feels better. It feels like you get a better bang for your buck. Black Lance Paragon. And again, that's just because probably the prices have settled now. But it definitely feels like your your ratio in the, the risk reward, which is vengeance, it feels like it's it's lower. But it's it's kind of tough to say. I don't know. Because you really got a, another brazen borrower, mythic number two, right? Yeah, after Garouk, non-foil. Can't believe we got that foil mythic in our very first box. That was flipping epic. So that's that's what I noticed immediately here is we got ourselves a nice fireborn. I love the split mana. I always love that. And talisman, not really that exciting there. Jesse, uh, looks like no one's gonna be pressing F in the chat to pay respect to you. Looks like you, uh, you're gonna be making your money back. All right, Faber Elder. So that's interesting. I definitely for the 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 risk reward. Wow, really, really, another Royal Scions? Holy smokes! Two Royal Scions and a, you just double tap the Royal Scions. You got three Mythics in the first chunk. This is another Fay of Wishes. Wow. Okay. Holy. Oh. I know, for the longest time, I totally got Fae of Wishes and Brazen Borrower confused. Once upon a time... <laughs> is there just a lot of cards of value in this set? Or is this just beginner... I think this is beginner's luck. Rudy's uh, slippers that I wore in high school. And, of course, the Serpent. Hmm. So, very... Uh, very enlightening. I know this is probably why a lot of people... Another Fae of Wishes. Are you serious? This is our foil rare. We had a foil rare of this. And a... F wow. That is phenomenal. Holy smokes. That's amazing, everybody. Alright. Oh, Swan Knight. I know everyone's talking about the long-term value and the power level of this type of product. But like I said, I, I just think it's too soon to tell... All right, foil rare box two is the opportunistic dragon. Absolute slap inside of your fourth testicle. That is a terrible pull, everybody. That is literally ordering the party pack, and they short you one taco, so you didn't actually save any money. Unfortunately, it happens, folks. It does happen to the best of us. Rudy the Mouse, Island, and the old Gargoyle, and another, another Cauldron of Eternity for another duplicate, Mythic number four. That is wacky. Complete wackiness, man. Holy smokes. And Gargoyle again. Absolutely. Tell you what, this is definitely one of the most bizarre first box openings I've done. I don't know if it's because I have more knowledge of the set after doing all the Throne Collector's openings. So it feels different. I'm not really specifically too sure, but it's it definitely got a different... Another Fabled Passage! I mean, I, I get it. The Risk Reward... Oops, hold on. The Risk Reward... For the regular box versus the collectors, I, I definitely, I'm getting it now. I really am, Troll King. The the, um, the collector's boxes have, now again, I don't see any box toppers, by the way. I want to lay that out there, Spell Shriek. So we've done two boxes so far. I'm really curious as this progresses over the next few weeks, how rare is the box topper? Trapped in the tower, and, oop, that's a foil. And Piper of the Swarm. So, I should take a quick glance. Anything hiding in my... So I do want to comment that really quick. Um, do you get one box topper per case? Is it is it just random? Harmonious Archon. All right, finally got a different. Wow, Mythic number five. Jeez, holy crap! What a return! And a foil. Oh my god! Foil rare showcase frame bone crusher. Holy smokes! Okay. And Rudy the Dwarf, just completely surprised. He's going to go back to playing Boulder's Gate. Unbelievable. Yes, folks, I said that. I said that. Uh, just Star Wars Rudy lightsaber. What an interesting, strange, just escape to the wilds. Holy crap. What just, what a, just, preserver. Huh. All right, everybody, well, we're wrapping this video up. Jesse, thanks for uh, continuing to be a very kind patron. And I mean, ooh, another murderous rider. What a very interesting first two box opening video here for me to experience. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Definitely very fascinating on the risk reward differences after I did 70 something boxes of thrown collectors. And now going back to the regular now, Ardenvale, 
Um, what an interesting, what an, it's very fascinating, folks. I'm very surprised we got multiple foil rares of Showcase. And the quantity of Mythics, of course, the not the greatest on the duplication there. You guys notice that? Look at this. Um, very fascinating stuff. Let's uh, continue. And again, everybody, check. don't forget to check out Jesse Cracks Packs, his own MTG YouTube channel. And unfortunately, you can't make fun of the guy because he actually did pretty good.